Thank you, Blackbeard Uncle, this evening, don't have cock beat. Blackbeard Uncle, he had a rasta man and he all and black and he always over sweet here plant grown. Then kill him sensibly. Yes. One man kill him over one mad girl. He man, he mad, come like he mad like I am too. Use knife and stab him and lick him with stone. See him there. I have seen him go and show you. Tell him, bam. A black man don't kill him. He mad at him, brother. How sensibly he did and he knew the road this evening. And this man, he see him out there. When me come from over lungs, he see him out there. Pssy, prop, pee, prop, pee, prop. P P K P S A S A P A S A What they do? Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. The voice note or the audio from the video that you just heard. Apparently, a man that work in a some sorts of rural community, dig up ground, farm of them call it. It seems as if he was formerly alive. And the reason for him losing his life is that a man that is said to be not fully hundred, him now in head, him kind of insane, him mad, him sick, him head no good. Take him away for a next lady that fits the same description of which I told you about this man. So apparently, two people that is not hundred in a some sort of relationship still don't reach hundred. Take away a man because they thought that, or the man thought that, this man was intervening on his property. He may walk upon him, go and go walk, so therefore he decided that he was going to rush him with some sort of kitchen utensil. Use that kitchen utensil, juke ju him up a couple of times and then finish him up by flinging some sort of big stone in him head. Now people, when we see what has been going on in Jamaica of lately, we should not be surprised because we see even the ones that are supposed to be seen amongst us, even them have flipped them lid and licked them chip, even them are doing some sorts of madness. So therefore, if the sane ones are doing madness, what should we expect? The laws of possibility and probability, the odds are the mad ones are also going to flip repeatedly and it seems as if this is the case in this case now what is so crazy is that you have mad people in a clean clothes a war crown then you have mad people that are actually mad a war crown with all sorts of farm utensil them rush people people make report to the poor poor them lock them up the mother or the parents keep them at the house for about a month or so and then they are back so just imagine if somebody that you can reason with will flip their lid and do something crazy. What is going to happen with these people that are flipping their lid on a regular basis? People, the sad situation in Jamaica is that a lot of persons should be restrained, relegated to some sorts of institution. However, they are not. Until they take away somebody's life, that is when everybody's going to be running around like some sorts of chicken, headless chicken, and then saying that we need to find this man and lock him up for a temporary while. People, it is sad. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, people, I don't know if the security company Beryllium, they are under siege. I don't know if they're jinx or them obey them or what. However, it seems as if they're always in the news for all of the wrong reasons. Sometimes not deliberate, sometimes not because of their own fault. They've been targeted at least five times or so in the last couple of years by gunmen that want to take away their money, take away their life, injure the security guards. We've seen countless videos that make them the laughing stock of the whole of Jamaica. We've seen videos with them hiding in a all sorts of bushes, videos in which all sorts of false alarm and them take with themselves. We've seen videos that would make all of the fittings for some sorts of comedy central. Well, people, based on information that is circulating all over social media in the news in a real life, it is said that a major incident at Beryllium headquarters 
that is located on South Camp Road. A security officer assigned to the company was reportedly S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L in an apparent accident. Reports are that the G-U-N went off on the compound and hit that security guard. He later succumbed to his injuries. Information says that he is a JDF reserve officer or an ex-JDF officer. It is kind of conflicting. Now people, whenever you are a security guard or whether you are a JCF or whether you are a JDF soldier and you are issued to keep on care, care is a part of it. That means you should be careful that you don't take away yourself and be careful that you don't take away other persons. So therefore, I say that to say this. There are safety measures that should be put in place. As in, make sure say, you probably don't have one in the head. Especially when you're at the headquarters where everybody have a tool and it is a safe internal environment. Me just say. When we hear stuff like this, we have to wonder if a obia, if a gozo, if a jinx, or it is just negligence and incompetence. Which one would you say? I would say negligence and incompetence. Or maybe there is some sort of ulterior motive. Because people, sometimes we hear stuff, we hear say people, D-E-A-D, -E them sick and D-E-A-D -E in a them sleep. Only to hear that that person was kind of possibly by her husband, Sylvia, may I talk about. So therefore, maybe there are some sorts of grievance and people, I don't have any sorts of information to substantiate those claims. But me just as say, when you hear anything, always be skeptical. Always look at all of the possibility. Always ask yourself, what could be the motive? How is it that two big men within the company end up blaze up the next one because of some sorts of accident? People, something might be into something. I am not saying that that is the case. But like I said, a lot of things could have been avoided had persons take the proper precaution. Like I've always said, he who fails to prepare, prepare meaning safety measure, prepares to fail. Failure as it pertains any sorts of fire piece is usually T E A T A sentence. So the question now is this, who is going to take care of this man's children, his wife, his family? If this man is a major breadwinner, what is going to happen to this investigation? Is the truth going to come to light? How is this person that discharged this con that made this man lose his life going to feel if he did it deliberately or it was accidents? I really don't know what to say or think about Jamaica because all of the stuff that you see, Jamaica is a hotbed of mess. Whether it is accident or incompetent or deliberate, these people seem as if everybody gone mad, everybody gone crazy. Nothing happens like you expect. The norm is now the abnormal and the abnormal is now the normal. Them mad, them sick, them head no good and even worse. They are negligent and incompetent. Chalk it up to that point blank and period. Now people, it seems as if these political campaign trails, they are nothing but a set of people that are trying to either get hurt, lose them life in the name of support for one's politician. We've seen a couple of days ago during some sorts of election wherein a lady have her foot out of the truck and the truck lick some sorts of embankment pretty much take off the foot from the knee and downwards and now there's a next video that is circulating all over social media apparently this man was on top of a minibus and he fell off and hit his head call it umpty dumpty or umpty dummy now people based on the video that i am seeing this man was in an unconscious state of mind Hopefully he made it. Hopefully he will learn his lesson. Lesson to be learning all of this. We see the popo, a chaperone, the vehicles, the convoy of vehicles. As a matter of fact, it so happened that I was coming from the airport that specific day. And I was almost run over me after tech bush feet. 
by some people a convoy of JLP. Not blaming the JLP, the PNP were out there doing the same DAMN thing. I know your political activists are going to say, see the Ima PNP when we're done telling us that we have vote for the goats. So anyways, these people don't learn. The poor poor don't learn. These people are allowed to do something that the average Jamaican cannot do. Poor poor out there harassing people. However, we've seen many, many minibus, many, many trucks, many, many cars with all sorts of people hanging outside the on top of the roof. I guess the rule is kind of changed. Them get immunity for some couple of days because of their political affiliation. All of these new traffic rules that they put into play, implement, it is no longer important. So therefore, just act like a baboon, act like you're going to some sorts of circus and you'll get an all pass. And people, sadly to say, all's well, that ends well, does not usually ends well. People drop off, lick them head, people lose them foot. Who is going to be next on this campaign trail, this circus, point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. 